us in faith. I'm joined today by a very special guest. This is uh, Jenny Fleiss. She's the co-founder and head of business development for Rent the Runway. Um, so Jenny, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about Rent the Runway. Um, Rent the Runway launched five years ago now. We just celebrated our birthday last week. And we rent designer dresses and accessories for 10% of the retail price. So you can log on to renttherunway.com, pick out your dream dress. We send it in two sizes to ensure the perfect fit. We know that women always want new, amazing things to wear. And especially with social media, you're constantly having your photo taken, it's being posted everywhere, and the pressure of looking your best but also changing over your wardrobe has just increased. So to be able to get a great dress for $40 or $50 on Rent the Runway is a wonderful and really fun option. So where did the idea come from? Well, I launched the concept out of Harvard Business School with my co-founder, and we were actually watching some young women thinking about what to wear for an upcoming wedding. And they were thinking of buying an, a, a new dress, even though they had many dresses in their closet. And we were like, why would you possibly buy yet another dress? So we realized that there was this kind of real gap in rationality around fashion, where women constantly want new things. They want designer fashion. They kind of want to spend outside of their budgets. Yet that doesn't really make sense. So wouldn't there be a great opportunity, rather than buying a fast fashion knockoff, to get the actual designer dress from Rent the Runway through a rental model where you only keep it for a day or two. Well, talk a little bit about your background. Yeah, so I actually came from a finance background. Um, I graduated Yale and then I worked at Morgan Stanley and Lehman Brothers. I had no fashion or technology experience, nor did my co-founder. And I actually think it's been very helpful that our whole founding team was kind of coming in with fresh eyes. We were able to do some really innovative things in an industry that hasn't been innovated on in years. This is something uh, that a reader asked, um, whether it's even more important to go to business school if you're a female entrepreneur. Hmm. Wow, well, I don't know that it's more important one way or another. Mm -hmm. I, you, you can be an entrepreneur without going to business school. I definitely believe that. For me, though, it was very useful. I met my co-founder there, and then we launched the concept while we were in business school, and we leveraged a ton of resources that we had. Um, we leveraged connections to get in touch with VCs through the, the HBS network. So I think there's huge ways in which it's helpful, um, but that said, I don't think it's a non-starter at all. Do you think it gave you any more credibility being a woman? Um, I, I wouldn't say being a woman. I mean, I think it adds credibility to everyone a little bit. Um, but that said, I think there's other there's many other things that add credibility, whether it's you know done something really significant at the job that you were at at the meantime. So I think it's really just kind of the full picture more than it is any one thing. And did you know your co-founder, Jennifer Hyman, before launching the company? And did you guys come up with the concept together, or did you each have like something in, in mind? We each brought different ideas to the table. So she has a sales and marketing background. I have more of a finance background. Our skills kind of came together because I started thinking about this is the peak of the recession. You had retailers slashing prices. You had designers open-minded and looking for new ways to engage and appeal with appeal to customers. And she was kind of thinking from the consumer mindset about all that social media pressure and closet full of clothes but nothing to wear. So our skills really married nicely together. I love that you you all just sort of happened upon this sort of amazing moment of like your customers wearing the dresses and just sending you all the, the, the pictures mm -hmm. of the dresses. We didn't really push or urge it or encourage it initially. Um, but once we saw it happening, we did create kind of the right incubation area for it to exist and thrive on our site. We have a section of our site called Our Runway, where it's actually photos of our own customers. They've posted them themselves, and they tell us their height, their weight, their bus size, and we serve that information up so other customers can shop via those photos of real women. Oh, nice. Over 200,000 photos of real women are now aggregated. Just speaks to like women wanting to share how awesome they look.